Hello and welcome to this video lecture series of PLC programming. Today we are going to discuss on insight of PLC programming. We will go in depth, we will try to evaluate different aspects of program PLC programming. And I request you to please like my channel. And if you have any query, you can reach to my email ID that is given with the description of this uh, video lecture. We have this uh, devised this whole like video lecture into four different parts for your easy uh, accessness that is plc systems program scan plc programming languages and entering the letter diagram first we go for plc system how it will the, uh, plc has been organized in such a way there are programming devices there are power supplies there are output modules input modules they will do input modules is for sensing devices output modules to uh, provide the load uh, adequate uh, loading capacity to the there and there is a central processing unit and memory inbuilt to the PLCs which works um, through with the power supply given there this is the uh, brain of this and there have been some optical isolation also provided so the data and uh, uh, memory data and, and program should be remain intact they will be uh, deflected because of some, any kind of splitting signals. So this is how the PLC organized. We have memory organization. We have memory of PLC organized. We should be by the types like what type of there. That is program and data memory. To program. Advanced data logic functions allow controller to perform calculations, make decisions and do other complex tasks. Task can be anything else, anything it could be complex, ranging from uh, just uh, sensing the data for particular kind of robotic operation, particular kind of uh, temperature variation, timers and counter are examples of ladder logic functions. They are more complex than basic input contents and output calls and really heavily upon data stored in the memory of PLCs. Output calls are a memory map can be used to show how memory is organized in a PLC. There are data tables, there are user programs, there are house computing. See, data tables are input output locations, internet release and timer counter locations. Like you can see, user programs are causes the controller to operate in a particular. This is how we say the PLC to do. And housekeeping memory used to carry out functions needed to make the processor operate. No access by user. This is for just to uh, processor to operate functions for processor operating. Now, how the programming files are there? The programming files for we have for SLC 500 controller. There are 5000 controllers. We have just taken a 500 controller. The program files, they are system functions. There are one thing is reserved for them. Then two is user programs. Then three to 255. There are total 256 locations for file type subroutine programs. The user program will account for most of the memory of the PS system. Program files contain the logic controlling machine operation. This logic consists of instructions that are programmed in ladder logic format. We have put them in ladder logic function. We are just describing ladder logic over here. Okay. There are data files. Data files could be, uh, we have again for SSD 500 controller. There are data files for output images, input images, status, bit, timer, counter, control, integer, reserve, the kind of this. So the, uh, the data file portion of the store input output status. This process is still a very bit and numerical level. Basically, they actually the files are for manipulating data. The data files can be anything of that. Like the data files are more the types that they contain. Like this output table, they will dead like this. The how kind then input table file operation. The switch is open, then there's a zero input modules will be like this. So zero will be there. If switch is closed, then the then binary one will be stored over here like this. Output uh, file operation processor continue activate or deactivate output status according to output image table file. Status. If the zero, then output is off. You can see output mode. If uh, uh, it is uh, on one like this, you will find somewhere. Then this output is on. You can put it on symbol over here. So, so this is how we have such organization of PLC. It's a little bit. Then we go for the scanning. See. During each operating cycle, the processor reads all inputs 
take these values and energize or de-energize the output according to the user program. See, this is how this process is known as scanning. It to scanning. See, input output scan record status data of input devices. Energize output devices that have their associated status bit set to on. So program so input output scan scan is for maintaining input and outputs according to the their status. Then the programs instructions are executed sequentially. It will be always a scan kind of programming is running over there. So this is a scanning. So exit sequentially. A scan process. The scan time indicates how fast the controller can react to the changes in input. A scan time varies with computer model or program content and length. If a controller has to react to an input signal that changes state twice during the scan time, it is possible that the PLC will never be able to take this change. So speed is very important. A scan time will be concerning in high speed of it. This is important when we are how, which what kind of operation we are performing there. This is a scan process. First, we will go for read inputs, then run program, then adjust the output. The scan is a continuous and sequential process. This is, should be always remember. It <coughs> read the inputs from for certain kind of uh, uh, sensors. Then accordingly, uh, we, we have to run the program, and accordingly, we have to adjust the output. This is how the scan process. How the data flow? See, they are the input modules. We got the input data, input image tables. We make them from them. Then from there, we made output make files, tables, image uh, files. They will output the output modules. Input images are examined data at check, compare, examine the condition from the program memory. Then we will take some action from this according to this program and then return the result. Just the output. This is how data flow over scan matter horizontal scanning order this is how horizontal scanning the processor examine input and output section from the first command top left in the program horizontally run by value this will go this way then this way then this way then never this way it will go this way then come over here then again again so in a, this is the end of the letter it's like this yeah. in addition to the program itself the scan time is also dependent on the clock frequency of the process this is very simple process way of talking like this how much uh, processing is be how is it depend on the clock frequency it will generate it will have it so scan processes are like this see input devices uh, this is uh, when the input is closed like this the input module sensor voltage and on condition one is entered into input table bit input table this is how we put input table i three by six so this is how input table has been performed <coughs> sorry input file simply output files i stand for input three by the, the number of digit number of bit over here during the program scan the process set instruction i3 by 6 and output 4 7 to on here this is o output 4 by 7 will be on so the processor turn light output uh, on during the next input scan this is how it will be go for that so this is input and this is output we will make this thing a scan pattern vertical scanning order this could be again the processor examines input and output section from the first command vertically column by column and page by page uh, pages are executed in sequence this is this will go for then this will go this this is how this is end of it misunderstanding the way the page is can, can cause programming works so what kind of scanning pattern is it horizontal or vertical that is that depends on the type of uh, uh, PLC we are using. Now we go for PLC programming languages. PLC, the term PLC programming language refers to the method by which the user communicate information to the PLC. <coughs> so how we are going? Three most common language structures are ladder diagram language, boolean language and function chart. This is a ladder diagram, this is boolean language like start and and this is a function chart. How you are measuring it. This is three PLC. Company programming. This is a really schematic for and this is equivalent letter diagram language, equivalent Boolean language. This is PB1, Lattice 1, CR. This is a relay we have. So they will put this in the equivalent, then start from PB1, then end and CR1, or all in with LS1, then end not CR2, and out. Then the Boolean equation. This is how we have put this is letter programming and this is 
Boolean equation. Similarly, we have the letter diagram language Brillet type instruction. We go. This is a symbolic set of instruction used to create the controller program. These letter instruction symbols are arranged to obtain the desired control logic like this. This is <coughs> this is this symbol analogous to examine if closed excise instruction. This is normally open only contact. For this instruction, we ask the processor to examine if the contact is closed. If it's it is excise. Typically, it with any input can be a switch or push button, a contact from a connected output, or a contact from an internal output. Has a bit level address which is examined for an on condition. The stated bit will be either 1 or a 0. Of. This is how the exam is closed instruction. This is I012. You will find out this. This is I012. This is how they will uh, uh, put this. In. So, this is, you will go for them from measuring this. Thing. You will find this this one is 12 over here so this is input and then write on this and number is 04 this data is 04 on this 04 is the data uh, uh, and, and this is this should be in like this it has been some major the see this this bit is 0 of the instruction is false instruction is false if the status bit is on like this, then the and then the instruction is true. Symbol analogous to normally closed delay contact. For this instruction, we ask the processor to examine if the contact is open. Typically, represent <coughs> any input can be a switch or push button, a contact from a connected output, or a contact from an internal output. Has a bit level address which is examined for an off condition. The status bit will be either one or zero off. Like this, this is this is analogous. I am not taking you know, right now this. I will just explain this thing to another my uh, series there. How to write these things there? Like this. This is again we have this is this zero. Then the instruction is true. For this opposite of that, this is the false. But this is on. Then this is false. Then this is analogous to output in OTE OT instruction. Analogous to relay call. The processor to make the instruction true. Analogous to energy call when there is a path of true excise <coughs> and XI instruction that run. Typically represent any output that is controlled by some combination of logic can be connected device or internal output internally. If any left to right path of condition is true, the output is energized turn on. Output in line. OT instruction. This is 0013. There is 13 point number is there. How it will be there? 13. This is the table actually. They have different tables over there. In between of that table, there is a 13 number of table. Out of that, the 01 is the second number of from this 0. This is so we will write down the output energy instruction 013 01. We put this 01. This is a 15. You will find this is a 15 and this is your final. 11 so this is these things are right inputs are here output and instruction is true both are one then this is true only then output instruction symbol allows to relay coin the processor make this instruction true or not when there is a path or not. typically it will enable this control a uh, can be connected device or internal output or internal if any left to right path or to the output is like turn off I think it is false. It for true and it is for false. We will find any one of them is not uh, true. Then it is false. Zero one zero. If it's zero, you will say false. <coughs> Instead of this ex example, like this input module, this it is button not actuated. Like this A is false. Output is off. A is true. We will put this output is on. Instead of this example, instead button actuated true. It is not actuated, uh, it is not actuated, it is actuated, then true is on, false is off, simple. Ladder rung, a ladder rung consists of a set of input conditions uh, represented by uh, contact instructions and an output instruction at the end of the rung, represented by a coil symbol like this, this is the input instruction and output instruction, what are the outcome of these? 
for an output to be activated or inject at least one left to right path or left to right path of contact must be closed. A complete path is referred to as a having logic continuity. When logic exists, the run condition says to be true. This is true, you will find. When an output to be act, uh, a com when logic exists, the run condition is to be true. Like this, this is, I think, run continuity. The examine if close instruction is true, making that true, run true. This is true, then this is, is <coughs> true. <coughs> Say false, making the run false. This is zero. Bit in memory, false for zero. Allen Bradley at control letter sync. This is for Allen Bradley. We have some devices. Address input and minute. I1312. Third is the length of, of out of 12 input tables. Close input. User program run here. I3 by 12. This is and uh, output image table gives you uh, 0 uh, 46 4 by 6 out of this bit address 6 is the number of them and 12 is this out of them are 4 R tables are address output terminal energize output this is how you they will uh, convey their message this is for uh, Allen Bradley SLC 500 structure of a 16 bit word 16 bit 15 of 7 so input output connection diagram i put <coughs> i 4 by 5 ls1 4 by 6 output 0 to by 3 and 3 by 6 Out of 16 bit input output connection diagram. Parallel input branches. Branch instructions are used to create parallel path of input condition section. If at least one of these parallel branches form a true logic path, the logic is enabled. Add a branch. Click this icon on the instruction toolbar to place a branch in logic. Logic. If your cursor is on an instruction, the branch is placed immediately to the right of the instruction. If your cursor is on the rung number, the branch is placed on the rung. <coughs> parallel output branching. On most PLC model, branches can be established at both the input and output portion of the run. With output branching, you can program parallel outputs on a run to allow a true logic path to control multiple outputs. You can control multiple outputs and parallel in, in, in parallel output branching. Parallel nested out input and output branches. You have a nested, these are nesting, nesting, and then the output parallel. Input output can be nested to avoid redundant instruction and to speed up the processor scan time. A nested branch start or end with another branch. It should start from uh, here, but it can be end of the, the another branch. Nested contact program. You can say nested contacts are here. Nested instruction uh, uh, see repeated. You see, this is repeated here. It's a nested. Is it not? Once some PLC model, the programming of a nested branch circuit cannot be done directly. Reprogram to obtain the required logic. We have to reprogram all the this set of this to get the better out of this. <coughs> PLC metric limitation. This is the maximum series control. Max file. How number output per rung and location of the output. There will be limitation to the number of these contact instructions series contact instructions number of parallel lines and a number of output and their location on the run this is the maximum series contact how this could be programming of vertical contact see original program is this y ad plus bc plus a so we will reprogram to obtain the required knowledge this this how we will <coughs> vertically we have made this a b we will go this way not this way, we will go this way. A D B C D B A C D. Original program or different scan pattern like this A B C plus A D E plus A B C. C. We have A B C A D E. Here you can find out A D E A B C A F C F D E 
B, C, all of them are coming. Internal control, the internal output output just as, uh, as any other output that is controlled by program project. That means internally how programming is actually uh, going through in that. That is control logic. What, however, the output is used is strictly for internal purposes. The internal output does not directly control an output device. This is internal. Like this, extending the number of series contact using an internal control. Say so rung one, this is internal relay coil. It is internal relay coil. It is internal relay coil. We have just start a discrete output require one physical picture of the output one. We can <coughs> it is here output which will become input over here. It is internal. Here it is output, it will become here input. So this is the internal relay contact here. It won't it output won't be available for uh, output module programming the XI. So this is hardware circuit. We have user program for the same result. XI instruction we have made over there. So this is both the push buttons are represented by XI symbol. This is because the normal state of input NO or NC does not matter. What does matter is that if the content need to close to energize the output, then the XI, XI is instruction is used since both pb1 must close to energize the pn the xi is used see both of them have to be closed for like this because they are in series so they both be in the, uh, have to be closed that's why we are using xi remember to say xi section see when the push button is open you find out uh, in the hardware like relay coil cr is de-energized and contact cr1 close to switch the PR operation. This is internally it has been it has been open so this will be open to switch the PL off. It will be off internally it will be there. Sorry. The push button is dependent representing the user program by an XIU switch push button. So <coughs> this is because the run must be true when the external push button is open and fast when the push button is closed. Opposite to that. So we need something more. Operation X instruction summary of status condition. If the if the data table bit is logic zero, X is false. X open is true. OT open is false. This we know from previously. We are just uh, summarizing them. Logic one X I C exam is close or true. X I U is false. OT is true. Operation of the XIC and XIC state. state of the output is determined by the changing state of so see time T1, T2. We have times then XIC is false, XIU true output is false. We will put them this way here. Input instruction C, XIU out, XIC, XIU OT. We will make them so whenever this happens, we will have a uh, different kind of arrangement. Entering the letter here. This is we need to. A personal computer is most often used to enter the The computer is adapted to the particular PLC model using the relevant programmer control software. Whatever you have, different screen. To, we have RS Logic 500 screen here. And Windows dialog are used to navigate through the Windows environment. You can use them. Bit instruction toolbar, you can find all the things. You have to please the instruction or rank. Click its icon on the toolbar and simply drag the instruction straight to the toolbar. Like you wanted to put over here, you drag it and click it. Select processor type. The processor needs to know what processor being used in a condition. We will use the processor name of this. You simply scroll down the list. There are different. Uh, until you find the processor you are using, you can find it. You can set the info output. Uh, configuration the input output screen lets you click or drag and drop a module from an all inclusive list to assign it uh, to a slot in your configuration. You are uh, configuring it like this 16 output. Like. Then from data file screen, you can data file screen contain data that is used in conjunction with other program instruction. These include we have initially defined them. Monitoring a ladder logic program. Operating logic is apparent from the highlighting of runs to of the various instructions on the screen, which identify the logic state in real time as logic content. We find highlighted and indicated instruction. This is actually green. They are highlighted. They are true. A, a modes of operation. Processor has basically two modes of operation: program mode or some variation of the run mode. 
may be used to enter a new program, edit or update an existing program, upload files, download files, document program, change software. Okay. When the PC switch into the program mode, uh, all output from the PLC are forced off regardless of the error logic state and the letter. Okay. So we are in program mode or very run mode. It is used to execute the user program, input device or monitor and output of the energy. Test mode, there is one mode. It is used to operate and monitor the user program without energizing any output. Remote mode allows the PLC to remotely change between program and mode by a personal computer connector. So we have. Thank you. If you curious, you will write down to me. I will be happy to solve them. Thank you.